Hey YouTube, I am Kirk. Um, I'm getting ready to do a Holzforma 372 build. And um, I wanted, I had some anxiety about getting into this whole project. So I basically wanted to um, do step by step as I go so that if anybody else has concerns, at least if they're like-minded to me, uh, some of these uh, tips might help. Uh, I'm going to follow Matthew Olson's step-by-step um, -step procedures uh, or his videos. It's like a six-part series. I've watched it once already, uh, and I'm going to unabashedly watch it while I assemble this saw, and then I'll take my own notes and I'll do a, a little tag uh, to that. Uh, with my lessons learned from each of those experiences. Um, and at the end, I'll have a saw, right? So that's good. Um, so the research that I've done, I have downloaded the IPL for the Husqvarna 372, which has, you know, your basic drawings and your assembly diagrams and everything. I, I thought that would be handy. Um, so I'll, I'll also go with that. Um, that's going to be living on this workbench for the rest of this project. I had questions about what type of consumables that I would need to use, uh, or have on hand in order, because I didn't want to be running out to the store every five minutes to get something. Uh, and for that, I contacted Walt, um, at Hilltop Tree Shop, um, and his YouTube channel is A Fleet Command. And I basically asked him that same question, what consumables will I need for this build? And he responded to me, um, same as any shop, I guess, the basics, uh, three bond 1184, which is the uh, crankcase gasket, uh, uh, adhesive or, or the bonding material, uh, three bond 1184. Couldn't find it locally anywhere. I've ordered it off Amazon. It's not here yet, uh, but I'm going to wait for that to show up before I get into that step, obviously. Two-stroke oil, which he's recommending as the lube for anything that you would need, which makes sense. And that way it's, uh, it's not something that's entirely foreign to the, the saw running. A carb cleaner and brake cleaner. Uh, some compressed air. He recommends the case splitters and case fitting tools, which I didn't get. Uh, I'm going to see uh, Matthew Olson has some recommendations on just basically using some all thread and some nuts and, and using that um, through the bearings as the to set the cases and to, uh, I guess you could use them as a splitter as well. Um, Walt also recommends having a four millimeter Allen on hand and a T27 Torx, which I think any of us are going to have already anyway. Um, there were also some parts that were recommended to change out immediately. Um, I used uh, ereplacementparts.com and I got the, the, the wrist pin clip. Um, I assumed when I ordered this part number, I would get two since there are two in the installation, but I only received one. I've since ordered another one and that should be here shortly. Delivery time with them was about a week, um, but definitely worth the wait because it's an OEM part and um, I, I feel good about that. Uh, another thing I ordered from them was uh, that little baby O-ring, um, which I haven't looked through all my things yet to see if that would show up. I guess I can show you the part number labels off of these as well. It's out of focus. Um, and this is for the, the circlip. Where's that one? And then I also ordered, um, the, the, um, oh crap, what's it called? Intake pipe, EPA compliant, yay. Um, which I ordered from them as well. And then the clamp, I guess the one that comes with the kit is not as low profile as this. So I ordered that as well. Um, if you want the part numbers, uh, hit me up in the, 
in the comments and I'll gladly take a minute and post those. I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. You know what? I'll put it in the, uh, in the text for the, uh, in the description. So the reason that I had anxiety about this is, uh, I've, I've got above average mechanical abilities. I've got, um, gosh, eight or nine chainsaws. I'm not afraid of taking on a project. Um, but I, I guess I have a habit of not really finish it, and I wanted to make sure that I, I got this one and started it and finished it. Um, and then if you're looking into these already, you'll recognize this picture, um, and it basically looks like scrambled eggs, right? Um, looks like there's been a yard sale, and I just assumed everything would come in a big dump bag, and I was surprised, uh, pleasantly surprised to see that some of the things are already subdivided. So here's what I got. Um, once you open the main box, um, it's actually quite neatly organized inside of this box. Um, I've, I've tossed through mine and then I, I realized that maybe it'd be nice to share this experience with somebody before I, um, before I tore anything apart too much more. So here, this is the, the crankcase and it was, it was put together or, you know, just set together. It's got some of the, it's got these studs already installed. It's got a, um, some alignment pins already installed. Uh, so that was nice. But here, here's what I was really happy about. Um, the, the parts that go with the assembly of this are in one box. So it's, you're not rifling through 35 pounds of parts to try to find what goes with what. So this is already, uh, you know, like a sub-assembly. It's, it's, it's organized for you already. Uh, the same thing with the cylinder. The, the cylinder and the piston and the ring, not that you couldn't pick them out pretty easily um, from everything else, but it's, it, it gave me comfort to see that everything was organized that way already. Uh, the crank um, came with its own, uh, with all of its parts in one box. So basically you get sub-assemblies, and, and I guess that's my takeaway. Carburetor in its own box. Um, and then in here, I'm, there's a variety of, you know, plastics, the tank, um, uh, some uh gaskets and springs and uh, th this is maybe more of what I was afraid of but it's the the whole thing isn't like this this is this is just one box you can definitely get started um, comfortably with each of these individual breakdowns um, so yeah so let me get into a couple of specifics real quick I also ordered the 20 28 inch bar and two chains and those um, are exactly a 28 inch bar and two chains so they nailed that uh, let me go to the crankcase real quick because you'll notice here when you order it it gives you a whole list of probable uh, model numbers that you'll end up with and I don't know how you can control the delivery of that but essentially I think they're all the same saw just with um, minor differences um, this one is at this is the crankcases and they're actually labeled a 365. Uh, also, the the air cleaner setup is the it's the low top, not the not the 372. So this is essentially going to be a 365. Um, and then I thought this was interesting too. Uh, high quality Italy. And I don't know if that means anything other than it has the word Italy on the box, um, but I thought that was interesting. And then one other thing, because I don't want to take, oh, I got two more things. Uh, so the muffler that came with this, I was also looking at, let me start with this. I got some, uh, some upgrades that I wanted to build into the saw immediately. Um, this was just off eBay. I wanted to have the full wrap handle instead of the, the single-sided handle and that was not off eBay this was off Amazon these are OEM parts and this um, the full wrap handle which I also have on my 555 comes with the the dual larger felling dog 
Um, so I got that in addition. I was thinking about getting a ported muffler because I don't, I, for some reason, I just, I don't want, I've got a, a 350 over here that I'm, I'm going to do my first muffler porting on, but I, I wanted to get uh, like a professionally done ported muffler, or professionally done ported muffler. Um, but this one that I got with the kit, it's not ported, but it, uh, it certainly doesn't have any baffles or anything in it. Let me, you can't see that. Nope, trust me. There's no baffles or anything in there. And then it's got that half inch uh, tailpipe. Uh, so I'm gonna run it like that and, and see what I've got. Um, that, that. So yeah. And then I'm going to, uh, like I said, this is just an introduction to, to what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna watch those videos as I build the saw and then basically come back and do a little debrief for each uh, stage. I'm gonna follow Matthew's stage. No matter how much work I do in the day, I'm gonna comment on each of those videos. Uh, well, send a, or, or post a, a matched video to, the, to comment on each of those stages and how it went. So thank you for tuning in, and um, as always, just do you.